face a final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Hi, I'm General Grudge, and welcome back to A Noob in Space Part 2. In this series, you get to see me, the noob, try to fight and feel his way through the Star Citizen Alpha, and doing it pretty poorly. And as I've said before, I've been away from PC gaming for a good number of years. I've been dulling my skills and senses on console games, so I thought it would be an interesting experience to chronicle my journey as I struggle blindly through the Star Citizen Alpha. Last episode, I gave myself a simple goal, which was just to find my ship and fly it just a little bit in the vastness of space. But in this episode, I actually try to do my first mission, which is a bit more ambitious, and I fail miserably. Here you find me picking up about where I left off, finding the terminal again, and ordering my ship to the dock. The sum of Mustang Alpha is now ready for me, and I feel pretty confident it should be easy to find after the trouble I had in the last episode. Ah, but these were famous last words because I somehow ended up getting lost again, unable to find my ship, and I wandered around this station for an embarrassing long time once again. Part of what confused me here is I ended up opening my mission log with F1, and I chose a mission and then I accidentally started following it instead of where my ship was located. So I cut a lot of that out so you didn't have to watch me running around like a moron. So the struggle was real, but I eventually found my way outside and see somebody else's ship. I know it's not mine, but I go to take a quick look, just out of curiosity. And there I finally see my Mustang Alpha. It's not showing up on my radar. Again, I think that's because I'd clicked on that mission setting. And this playthrough is picking up right after the last episode, so thankfully I already know how to get in my ship, and I won't have to spend 10 minutes walking around it looking for the button prompt. So once again I walk up to the hatch and I press F, which brings down the ladder. It lets you crawl inside your ship. Again, this is an early alpha game, so it's a little glitchy. A little confusing getting inside your ship, but it's not that big a deal. All you have to do is face in the right direction, the seat, and you'll sit down in the cockpit after you press F. So I realize now my biggest mistake in this playthrough was not taking the time to actually learn to fly my ship before I do a mission. Launch Lesson learned. complete. Landing complete. But don't worry, I'll finally wise up in a couple episodes later. Here you can see the menu that I opened by pressing F1. In this menu, you can find the MG Scheduler, which contains the missions that are available in the Early Alpha. And here you can see there's one already selected, Public Enemy. I believe that's the one I accidentally selected while looking at my ship, and that was the reason I got lost for such a long time. Thank you for getting in touch with me. My husband recently died aboard the Gundo Kovalex station, but the company is refusing to pay out his insurance claim because they say he was at fault. It's ridiculous. There is no way that's true. I know my husband. Darnell had his problems, but that is all in the past. I want you to go to the Kovalex station and send me evidence that my husband is innocent. But even if you find out that he isn't, you'll still get paid. I know your time is valuable, and really, I just want to know the truth. I attach the insurance claim to get you started. Good luck. Launch. Complete. And I hope to hear from you soon, one way or another. While sympathetic with this woman's plight, I decided to choose another mission. At the time, for some reason, I was afraid that mission might be too complicated Scanning. for me. Scanning. Maybe involve some kind of flying or fighting that I wasn't used to yet. 
I was looking for a different mission that hopefully I would just fly to a certain point, maybe get used to my ship a little bit more, and maybe absorb something and get back. So once again I find myself at the confusing key binding screen. After my first playthrough I was smart enough to look on the internet and try to find some easy to print out guides for the controls so I could have them to look at. Unfortunately my printer was out of ink and it was a couple of days before I could print them out. So if you're new to the game I highly recommend you doing that early and having them in hand. But that said they're still pretty complicated even when you look at them on paper. And spoiler alert, even when I have them later, I was still pretty confused. Now this Scanning. section of playing the game for the first time, and in this video, can be pretty frustrating because I'm stuck here for a very long time, confused what to do. Eventually Scanning. I find out that by pressing B, I can open up a star chart and fast travel. But it took me a very long time, and I cut a lot of that out in the video because it was quite frankly very boring. Eventually my puny mind is able to piece together the fact that I can press B to open the chart and F to quantum travel, which is basically the hyperspeed fast travel in this game. As you're about to see, the first time you go into quantum travel in this game quantum is really great, engaged. and these are the kind of experiences that make you love a game like this. It's working! It's working! Yes, I know I'm the only person in the universe that likes the Phantom Menace movie. As soon we arrive at our destination, and I'm pretty sure the voice that greets me is Tracer from Overwatch? Come in, random ship. Scanning. Hi. Welcome to the neighborhood. Second class junior cartographer Tessa Bannister reporting in. I'm the eyes behind all the ICC scan probes in the area. What these little guys see, I see. Which, yes, scanning. I can totally see you. Right now. Anyway, there was actually a reason to why I commed. I'm sort of not allowed to leave my post. Important jump point scanning and all. So, I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. If you have a second, could you check out these coordinates? Scans are saying something's there, but can't ID it. Second spoiler alert, nothing goes right from here on. Contact. Out. I think this situation is a good example of why I keep bringing up I've been a console gamer for so long. I also think my senses have been dulled by playing so many games that have just handheld you and pointed you in the exact direction for so long. It takes me a little while to figure out what I should do and think for myself. But addressing that and fixing that is a big part of the reason why I wanted to play this alpha in the first place. Here I'm looking in the direction that I think I have to go. I'm still not sure if I went in the right direction. It takes me a minute though to remember how I fast traveled just a few minutes before. Quantum travel engaged. Contact. And I don't care how many times you fast travel in this game, it never gets old. And this experience was very cool too, because it took me straight into a really awesome asteroid field. Quantum travel complete. I mean just look how cool that looks. And I hope you enjoy it because I got stuck here for a pretty good while. And third spoiler alert, nothing really cool like Han Solo landing the Millennium Falcon on an asteroid infested by a monster happens in this section either. As I wander around here like a retarded little lost lamb, I'd like to take the time to thank the StarCraft community that's been so kind to me in the last few days. I went over to the uh, Star Citizen Reddit and posted my first video there and everybody has been so responsive and helpful to me it really blew my mind. So if you are considering to try the Star Citizen Alpha out, please keep in mind that the community seems to be really great. I was genuinely surprised and happy just to see the sheer amount of people that took such an interest in a new player like myself. It's really awesome how this community seems to be ready to help any new player come in and get comfortable with the game and encourage you along through all the glitches and all the problems that an early alpha can have. In a short time I learned so many good details that helped me out so much in a later playthrough I can't thank them enough. And by the way one of those details is that I fly around with my landing gear down all the time. This keeps me in precision mode and keeps my ship from flying correctly. Now I know. 
Anyway, back to the confusion that is me playing the Star Citizen Alpha. So once again, I'm confused. I don't see anything in this area right now that is what I'm looking for. But suddenly I see something off in the distance that I Quantum mistake travel, for being my objective. Now of course I know now that that is just another point I can travel to. But it doesn't take even me long once I get here to realize what I've done Quantum wrong. Because as soon as I get here I get a prompt that says, You are on the edge of space. Wow, that was pretty quick. Take that, No Man's Sky. So I immediately decide I need to head back where I was. I'm clearly headed in the wrong direction. And I need to get out of here before I run out of plutonium and carbon. And if you haven't figured it out, yes, yes, I did buy No Man's Sky. And Quantum I was a little travel, bit disappointed. Engage. That's why I broke down and got into the Star Citizen Alpha. So here we find ourselves back at the asteroid field. Never give up, never surrender. So at this point, I think you're probably getting used to me being lost and confused, and I hope it's not as frustrating as it's probably been in the past. But let's face it, this won't be the last time, and that's kind of the theme to this video. That said, even I'm getting annoyed with myself. I'm seriously considering giving up at this point. I've had some success considering it's just my second playthrough. But hark, what noise is this? Could this be the probe that I've been searching for? This is quite possible, of course, but I need to cut a few minutes of this search out for my sanity and yours as well, I'm sure. Scanning. Contact. Contact. Ah, and here's the moment I've been dreading. Possible combat. I have zero idea how to file my plane, rather alone shoot my weapons. I want nothing to do with fighting anything AI or human. I'm still not sure if these pirates or whatever they were had anything to do with the mission. I'm assuming they're just a random encounter. Ah, and I found the sound again. Of course I'd find it again when these pirates are threatening me. Flare selected. Chat selected. So yeah, I'm just pushing buttons trying to figure something out here. And suddenly it's starting to hit me that maybe I should have went for a Lost in Space theme to the intro instead of a Star Trek theme. Because Spock knows I have no idea where I'm going. And also, as you can see, I still have zero idea how to properly file my ship. Don't worry though, in a couple of episodes I get quite a bit better. I have absolutely no idea what happened to the pirates, but I'm glad they're gone, because it lets me focus on finding the source of the noise that I've been hearing. Scanning. And Eureka! By Jove, I think I found something. But unfortunately at the time, I had no idea if I had really found something or not. Was this related? Was it not related? I had no idea. Looking back, I realize now that I should have probably got out of the ship in EVA mode and flown to it and seen if I could do something with it then. And in all honesty, while I've been hard on myself for being a dumb console gamer, the truth is it's not very clear what's going on, and that's understandable considering this is an early alpha game. But honestly, in situations and games like this where you get confused, it's usually the simplest solution that's best, but I usually tend to complicate things and make it more difficult than it needs to be. I'm sure there's some button that I'm unaware of I could have scanned the area, or like I said earlier, I probably should have got out of the ship and inspected it physically. 
But while I'm playing here, I get it in my mind that maybe I shouldn't have come here in the first place. I start to think that maybe I got confused and traveled to this system wrongly, and I should have stayed in the system where the quest originated. So that process of thought makes me think it's wisdom to head back to where the quest originated and just start again. I mean, what could go wrong? I mean, they always say in real life, if you get lost, or if you lose something, just retrace your steps. Quantum travel so that's what I decided engaged. to do. So here we are, heading back to Tracer to see if she has any more instructions, or if I can find something that maybe I just overlooked the first time I was there. And so my patience and my due diligence is rewarded by the game crashing. Welcome to the Star Citizen Alpha, General Grudge. So needless to say, my spirits are pretty well defeated, and I decide to call it a night. So anyway, I'm General Grudge. I hope you enjoyed this video, or at least didn't find it too frustrating. If you liked it, stay tuned, and you can laugh at me instead of with me in the next episode of A Noob in Space. Goodbye.